How's it going everyone? Marco Moreno here. Today I'm gonna talk about this video. It's a challenge match between a boxer and a judoka. It's the classic challenge of fight between a striker and a grappler. Of course the boxer is gonna try to punch the judoka in the face and the judoka is gonna try to get a hold of him and take him to the ground and the boxer is pretty good of course he knows that the strategy is gonna be punch him and getting away from the judoka as you can see the judoka got punched in there oh he's asking for a break he's no use to getting punched in the face they resume the action the judoka goes for the clinch but of course the boxer keeps moving away and as you can see the, there is no ring so there is a big space that the boxer used to oh another punch in the face that the boxer used to stay away from the judoka's grip the judoka has a big challenge here which is the boxer is not wearing a jacket which judo guys are used to get a grip on jackets the judoka is asking for a second break right there they resume the action of course i don't think this is a clear representation of a street fight in a street fight the uh, attacker first is not going to be as skilled as this boxer and two if you are a judo or jiu jitsu guy he's not going to know that you're going to try to grab him so he's just gonna punch forward with no technique and it's gonna be very easy to clinch and take him down oh and they put a gi on the boxer this will make things pretty interesting the judoka reaches for the gi as is his nature to get a grip in order to throw the boxer and the boxer of course is just staying away from the grips another punch to the body very fast has oh the judoka has got a grip right there on the boxer's lapel and he's getting punched in the face but man judo guys if you guys ever uh, have a spar with the judo guys you cannot break those grips that grip is not coming out as you can see he's getting punched in the face but he stays with the ridiculous grip right there in the lapel boxer is in trouble right here because from here the judoka is gonna take him down like that beautiful uchimara on the boxer and once the boxer is taken to the ground it's pretty much over for him they don't have the techniques and the skills to fight on the ground Let's look at another fight between a boxer and a judoka. This time is inside a ring and it goes a little bit different because the boxer keeps moving forward. As you can see, the previous boxer was punching and moving away. This boxer is just moving forward, which make it easy for the judoka to grab him and throw him to the ground. He goes for mount boxer turns take the back and choke him out let's look at it again as you can see the boxer keeps moving forward which make it easy for the judoka to clinch and establish a good underhook and going for that uchimara throw and then from here goes for the mount boxer turns and he choke him out I think what makes this judoka succeed is not that the opponent is wearing a jacket but is moving forward instead of running away and now let's see how a jiu-jitsu guy does against a boxer the video says bjj purple belt versus boxer the jiu-jitsu guy is wearing the spats and the boxer just shorts and a blue t-shirt both of them are wearing gloves the jiu-jitsu guys they're even throwing jabs this boxer doesn't look very good 
but the Jiu-Jitsu guy goes for the single, transition it to a double, takes the boxer to the ground, and then from here it's very easy to go to mount and he chooses an arm bar. Let's look at it again. As I said, this boxer doesn't look as skilled as the first boxer against the judoka, which can make a difference. The other difference is that the jiu-jitsu guy goes for the legs, single leg first and then double leg, versus the judoka, they only go for the upper body, which can make it hard to get a hold of a, a striker. Many jiu-jitsu students go to schools where they mix the beginners with the advanced students. They are taught complex moves that they are unable to execute because they haven't even learned the basics. It's very hard to learn jiu-jitsu without a curriculum. So they go to YouTube where there are hundreds of thousands of techniques. Where do you even start? They also go to buy online courses, but there are a lot of advanced courses out there and they're all disconnected from each other. There is not a clear path. That's why I created Mastery Jiu Jitsu Online, where you will find a comprehensive curriculum of video courses that will take you from zero to Jiu Jitsu Mastery in a systematic and organized way. Course one will give you the fundamentals of Jiu Jitsu, and with that foundation, you move to course number two, and so on. For free sample lessons and discount offers, click the link below. This other video says Jiu Jitsu Guy versus Untrained Fighter. As you can see, the striker is not really that good. The Jiu Jitsu Guy goes for the legs again, almost take him down, and then cut a guillotine on the striker and submit him. Let's look at it again. The Jiu Jitsu Guy protects his face. The boxer is very conservative and the Jiu Jitsu guy is able to close the distance by going for the legs. In the scramble he gets a guillotine and then submits the striker. And let's look at how Hoyce Gracie deals with a pure boxer. So Hoyce keeps his distance, he's staying away, he's not of course the going to trade punches with the boxer. Here Hoist gets a little close, a little closer and closer and when the time is right there we go. He go for he goes for a nice double putting Gimerson, Gimerson down, goes to mount and pretty much the fight is over here. He's trying to grab Hoist maybe try to do something but you can tell like he's lost at this point he, would, he doesn't know what to do he's out of his element and there he's tapping there's not a choke there's not a submission he's just tapping out in conclusion how does a judoka compare to a jiu-jitsu guy against a boxer well there are a lot of elements to consider for once the quality of the boxer in this first video this is a pretty good boxer okay and also he has a, a lot of space to get away versus a ring you could see that the judoka was able to get a clinch easier in this big space the judo guy has a really hard time because the boxer not only he's pretty good but he has a lot of space to get away from the judoka's grip another conclusion we can arrive after watching these videos is that what makes the jiu-jitsu guy successful against a boxer is that they actually incorporate leg takedowns single leg double leg takedowns to bring the boxer to the ground versus the judoka is looking for upper body clinch which against a boxer seems to uh, be a little bit challenging especially if the boxer is running away the jiu-jitsu approach of being open to incorporating leg takedowns and makes them successful versus judo they uh, used to uh, go for leg takedowns but they changed the rules of their sport and they are not allowed to go for uh, the legs 
so now uh, they are just restricted to upper body clinch and upper body throws and against a boxer that could be a little bit limited anyway thank you guys for watching let me know what you think on the comments please subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you on the next one